Hi YouTube, this is Born What a Veil, and this reading is for Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. So since there's 12 zodiac signs, I'm splitting them up in four, okay? Once again, this reading is for married couples, people that are living together, boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, it doesn't matter your sexuality or bisexual, whatever you want to be, it's your preference. My room is open to all. Once again, this is for Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It's very, very important to keep me on this channel. Thank you, Cross Watchers, for tuning in, joining in. Um, if you'd like a reading, call me at 313-401-3707. Text me with that, please. And if it's real late, I could get back with you in the morning. Usually I like to get my readings done right away. I don't like my clients to wait. They never have really waited. Uh, maybe till the next day when I get off work and then I come in straight in and I give the reading. Um, once again, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment if you like. And let's get on with your reading for March 2020 or the whole year of 2020. Because whenever you see this, okay? So the person that you're with right now, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, is your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Someone that you love very much, you've had a past life with. Um, you have romantic feelings, passion with them. You just feel like the relationship is going good. Um, you don't get enough of each other. And the sex is hot. Like I said, this is not going to be for everyone check my other signs out and check I always say check with you what you're mixed with check your chart at freebirthchart.com okay put your information in and you'll find out what other signs you have in your chart um like I said you guys have romantic feelings about each other your feelings are real and worth exploring um you love each other very much You flirt a lot with each other. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. You flirt a lot with each other. Leo, I mean, uh, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Now, I said Leo, so some of you are dealing with a Leo, okay? You feel that this is your partner. You already met the romantic partner you seek. So a lot of you feel that this is your partner. Um, and some of you may know each other and you want to be together i could put it that way okay but definitely this person sparks an interest in your life now some of you are not together at this time time apart from your partners on the horizon so some of you are not living together like i said this is for boyfriend and girlfriend your heart aches because you do want to be together you're planning on being together you're planning on getting married or engaged or living together um but there's definite lo love there very much so guiding children you are good at helping counseling and healing children Use your skills to help children now. So some of you are pregnant right now. Um, I see with a child. Or you just had a child or you do have a child with this person. Um, you're very good. Some of you are counselors. Uh, you work with children. You're very good with children. Some of you are healers. You heal children when they're sick. And your skills somehow involve children. Okay? Medicine woman, you are a channel for divine healing. So some of you have a natural healing. You're a medicine woman in some of your tribes or however, however that works in your tribe or your culture. But a lot of you are healers or you go to healers. Or you're healing within a relationship. Blossoming, you are just getting started. So in other words, you're blossoming to a newer you, to a higher um, being in your relationship. So have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. So you're blossoming within this relationship. It's blossoming. It's, it's pretty good. Sorceress, 
You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. So a lot of you who manifest, who pray, actually it comes to reality. Whatever that you want, you get because the universe is listening to you. So you must be doing a lot of praying and manifesting in this in your life. Sensitivity. You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. So when you're cleaning around the house, please don't use strong chemicals. It's, it's just not good for your sensitivity, for your skin. If some of you may have asthma or breathing problem or you break out. Uh, you are becoming increasingly sensitive. So some of you are psychics and you're becoming so sensitive. Now, you've prayed for it. It's happening. And some of you are just intuitive anyway. You're so sensitive. Um, avoid harsh relationships. It could be family members. It could be somebody, uh, friendships, um, relationships. But avoid them. Avoid toxic people. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Because you're only setting up for failure. Golden opportunity. Important doors are opening now for you right now. Walk through them. There's When God shuts one door, 20 doors are open. So what you need to do, you need to go through those doors, whether it's a new job, um, whether it's got something to do with your relationship, family, friends, um, abundance, new home, new car, whatever it may be. Uh, God and Jesus and the universe is opening up those doors for you, whatever you've been praying for, manifesting for. Be strong. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures us happy outcome. So stay strong, stay positive, and everything, you're going to have a happy outcome. Uh, Sagittarius, you're very strong. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, you're very strong. But Aquarius is weak in relationships. So you need, Aquarius, you need to be much stronger, and you need to deal with your relationships better. Because Aquarius, sometimes you bounce from relationship to relationship. Okay? Prosperity. Uh, the universe is pouring its abundance to you. Be open to receiving. I just told you. Be strong. You're going to have a happy outcome. Uh, the universe is pouring the abundance out to you. Maybe you're, um, both of you and your relationship are making more money. Um, maybe one's making more than the other. Uh, there's a job opportunity that's coming up in March for you because we are coming into the springtime. So um, that's another era in your life. But definitely abundance is coming your way. A lot of you are talking to your friends. Ask, ask for and accept support from others. So a lot of you are talking to your friends about uh, things that are going on in your life. Um, relationships, job-wise, um, family. But there's only certain people that you talk to. Codependency. You really don't like when someone is really codependent on you too much. You need the help also. It's like 50-50, especially with Aquarius. Aquarius is very giving, though. I will say this about Aquarius. They're very giving in gifts. Pisces, they're okay, too. Um, Capricorn, Sagittarius, a little stingy, just a little bit. But um, you really don't like when people are codependent. You really want it to be 50-50. Um, now, there's some addictions affecting your romantic life. Some of you might have a mental illness. Um, some of you may drink too much, gossip too much, um, not sharing with your partner, greedy. So you need to watch that. They're telling you to give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Now is the time. New era is coming. Springtime is coming. March, April. You need to start working on that relationship just a little bit harder. Both of you need to intertwine together, and you need to work on it together. Just not one and the other one's not doing anything. Both of you have to work on your relationships together. Don't back down. So I know Sagittarius is a very strong-willed person. They run off at the mouth. Uh, Capricorn is, is very harsh, too. Aquarius, they are, but they're kind of lenient. Pisces, mm, with the mouth. Um but what there's Aquarius, I think you need to stand up for what you believe in, especially when it comes to relationships. Capricorn also, Sagittarius, Pisces. I think everybody needs to stand up for what you believe in. You don't have to be nasty about it, but you must stand up and don't back down, especially if something's not going right in the relationship or your friendships or um, family. You need to stand up 
won't stop letting people run over you. Now the chemistry, whoever you're with, is very strong. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Um, he's very attracted to you and you're very attracted to her. You love this person's body, their legs, their breasts, everything about them. You love everything that's on him. So there's not a problem there within the bedroom. Now, some of you entered into a relationship and you still have not let that ex go. The time has come to clear your energy. You're living with them and you got your divorce papers, but it seems like it's kind of hard for you to let it go. You got to let it go if you want to be with this person. I will say this. That Sagittarius, Capricorn, Pisces, you need to let go of control issues. Aquarius, you can be controlling too. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So whatever's happening in your life, let it unfold naturally. Now, Aquarius, and I'm not picking on you. Aquarius has multiple partners, a lot of men and women. Um, it's like a revolving door in their home. you got to stop that, especially if you have children. Okay? Um, but all in all... You guys got to let go of control issues. You're too controlling. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have trust. It's calling for you to have trust within your relationships. All relationships in your life. Some of you, it's hard for you to trust because you be, you've been betrayed. But you got to learn to trust. Or you'll never trust. And some of you are too trusting. Uh, free yourself. It's time to take back control over your life. Um, you need to take control back over your life and stop letting people fuck over you. Um, and start making them respect you. Okay? Uh, I will say this, that a lot of you have a lot of family healing issues. Either you're into it with your brother and sister, into it with your father, your mother, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So a lot of things that you're holding from the past, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, it is affecting your relationship with your partner. So some of you are in counseling or you need to go to counseling. Some of you are on meds. You need to go on meds. Uh, some I see some chemical imbalances there, um, bipolar, um, schizophrenia. Uh, entertainment purposes only, a uh, lot of anxiety, depression. And this comes from your childhood. And sometimes you didn't get the help that you need from your childhood, and it transfers over into your relationships. And it interferes with your relationships. They want you to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Maybe some of you have been together so long that their romance is not there. Maybe some of you need to make it happen again. Go pick date night. Everybody should have a date night. Go out, have fun. Send the kids somewhere if you have kids over to your to their grandparents, sister, brother, whoever. Have a romantic, passionate love life, a night, um, and being to each other. Because some of you are not getting it because you have children. Now I will say this: there has been some deception in your relationship. Somebody has cheated or there is a three-way love affair going on, or there was. But definitely there was three people in this relationship. Somebody cheated, maybe you found out about it, maybe they told you, you're working on it, you're going to counseling, or you found out that they cheated. And that's where the trust issues come in too. A lot of you will be getting married in the month of March to the rest of the year 2020. Now a lot of you have a deception in your marriage. There has been some cheating going on within the marriage. And there's a man with two women or a woman with two men. But they're definitely somebody cheated in this relationship. Not all, but a lot of you have. And this deception could have interfered in with your marriage. You all deserve love. Everybody deserves love. Um, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. 
you are dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, or you could check their chart or check your chart, but there's a heavy water within this chart and a heavy earth. A lot. Some of you got to learn how to play. You're not playing enough. You're working so hard that you forgot about what it is to let yourself go and have fun. Or your kids got you all wrapped up and you forgot how to have fun because everything is going to your children. So you got to recapture the romance in your marriage and your uh, if your boyfriend or girlfriend are living together, you got to capture that romance. You got to allow your inner youthful spirit to fun to have fun too and shine. Not be, you know, not be serious all the time. Find a find a babysitter, but you guys must recapture the romance. Now, reconciliation. Somebody wants to reconcile with you, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Someone from your past is returning to your life. I feel like some of you is like a revolving door. Like this person just keeps coming back and forth, back and forth, and you keep letting them in. This is not for everybody. But one of these signs, or all these signs, somebody keeps letting somebody in and out, in and out. They're destroying your life. They come in, they leave. They come in, they go. Do you want to keep doing that? I don't think so. It's safe for you to love again. You've been through so much shit that you just, you have the trust issues. Um, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Some of you want to be in love again with the person that you're with. But like I said, somebody wants to reconcile from the past too. In the month of March through 2020 period. worth waiting for divine timings at work in your love life so this person that you're with that you might be having problems with they are worth waiting for the divine says so um they're trying to help you within your marriage within your relationship but you have to open to receive it divine timing is everything okay The High Priestess, you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. So some of you are spiritual teachers. You're a High Priestess. The Occult. Spiritual teachings. And some of you are helping people to, the, to their highest good. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, you need quiet time. You need some. You need to take some time alone to rest, meditate, and compliment. Shh. You see her going shh with her finger? You guys need rest. You need to rest your mind. It's all over the place. Your spirit is all over the place. Maybe this person that you're with is driving you crazy. Or they're running in and out of your life. And you have no peace. Or when they're with you, you have no peace. Now, some of you have had a past life together, whoever you're with. The situation involves your past life memories. So some of you are carrying what you did in the past over to the present now. And maybe that's why some of you are going through some difficulties. Because you haven't learned from your past. If you're in an abusive relationship, mental abuse, you have not learned yet. That's why you're going through it. Um, maybe there's no trust issues. Um, maybe there's cheating. Maybe you've been with this person in a past life and they just did you so wrong. And now you're back with them in this lifetime because you haven't learned from the past. Inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom. Take appropriate action without delay. You guys know what to do. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. You know what to do within your relationship. You're either going to stay together, you're going to separate, or if there's a third party, you're going to be with that other person, or your mate's going to be with that other person or stay with you. But definitely, everybody knows what they want to do in a relationship. A lot of you have children together. 
your love life is being affected by children. So as I say, some of you do not have the time to be alone because you're working all the time. You have children. Some of you are pregnant now. And you got to find the time for the romance and passion within your relationship. Like I say, call the grandparents, the grandfather, the grandparents, your mother, your father, brother, sister. Let them go somewhere for the weekend. You recapture the romance and passion that you used to have within your relationship. Because children do affect your love life. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You're going to clearly decide how you're going to handle this relationship that you're in. Do you want it? Do you want to stay? Do you want to go? Do you want to take this person back that's going to reconcile with you? What is it that you want to do? Some of you need to express your love more. Go ahead and make the romantic gestures. Like I say, a lot of you have to spend more time together. Alone, without the children. If you don't have children and you're working so much, you do have to make the time to express your love. Be more romantic and passionate, sincere to each other's feelings. The passion is there. It's all bottled up. You guys need to make time for that. I've been saying that through the whole video. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Make the time to be romantic, passionate. If you love the sex between you. The Eight of Coins. Um, don't get too lazy within this relationship or have a lack of ambition. Don't feel for one minute that you need to let it slide. You need to let it go. Um, you need to stay up on, this up on this relationship. And if you really want this relationship, you have to make it work. you got the Seven of Wands. Have consideration for each other, too. A lot of anxiety within this relationship. Uh, some of you have an indecision about this reconciliation with this person from the past. You're having doubt about what you want to do with this person from the past. Because they're coming back. We're in retrograde. Um, the Sun. Now, I will say this. If you decide... To go back to this ex, your marriage is going to suffer. Your relationship is going to suffer with this person. Um, your engagement will be off or marriage. And some of you may not be that happy when you want to go back. So you better think long and hard about it. Queen of Coins. A lot of you have everything that you want. You have a beautiful home. You have the clothes you want roof over your head. You have everything that you need. You have the security. So why mess it up? What an X. Unless you're not happy. X is an X for a reason. Four of Cups. So some of some of you are letting this cup flow down the river. You got you see he's got his cups there, but he's letting the cup go one by one. Okay? Some of some of you Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, you're you're disgusted by this person that you're living with, engaged to, or keep somebody keeps running in and out of your life. You're unhappy about it. Um, they feel that you should just wait on them all the time for them to like a revolving door, pick up and go when they want. Um, you're very disappointed in that, some of you, and disgusted because you know they've been with other people and then they want to run back to you. Then you got the Queen of Wands. Uh, there is jealousy with some of you in the relationship, deceit. Um, there could be a three-way love affair going on with some of you. Uh, with the Queen of Wands reversed, uh, your emotions are unstable. Um, you're resistant to change. So some of you are happy and some of you are not. And then you got the Strength card. Some of you are being petty within your relationships. Um, some of your men are impotent. Um, somebody's sick, entertainment purposes only, but somebody's sick within the relationship. Uh, somebody doesn't have a lack of faith within this relationship, and somebody abuses their power within this relationship. And your last card is Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. 
it all boils down to making an effort within this relationship. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. He or she loves you. Um, there could have been infidelity within the relationship, past, present. Um, remember, somebody from the past wants to come back. They could ruin what you have. Um, do you really want that to happen? Then some of you are very happy within your relationship. So make an effort. It depends on exactly what you want within this relationship. Do you want to stay? Do you want to go? Maybe. You're not sure. Make sure you think about it because the ex is an ex for a reason. And like I say, if you go back to this ex, it could ruin everything that you got now, even by playing around. If some of you are having a three-way, you need to think about it. Is it worth having what you have at home? Sometimes, you know, the sex is bad at home with some of you, not all. And you go outside of the relationship, outside of the marriage to get who you, the sex who you want to be with. And sometimes it's better. Sometimes that relationship is better. And you're torn between two people. So you got to figure out what is it that you want. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. You really got to figure it out. What is it that you want for yourself? Because springtime is coming and that's a new chapter within your life. You know, every winter, every spring, every fall, you know, um, it changes. You know, when we're in retrograde, shit happens. People want to come back from the past. And if you notice when retrograde comes around, everybody wants to come back. They'll be there, but then when retrograde is over, you don't hear from them anymore. It's always when retrograde comes. And we're in Pisces now, so that's in relationships. So just make sure, you know, you're watching yourself. Um, is, you know, listen to your intuition about the relationship. Talk to God and Jesus. Talk to everybody on the other side to give you a sign. What is it? Maybe you need to talk to somebody about, do you want to stay? Do you want to go? But really think about it. Okay, if you'd like a reading, uh, once again, you can contact me, text me at 313-401-3707. And um, I'll give you more information about the readings. Good luck, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. God bless and thank you, Cross Watchers.